My God Almighty. Look at us. I remember. I remember when I was growing up in the church. Praise the Lord Jesus. In Jamaica. Praise the Lord Jesus. My dear sister, you can tell. Pray when the rain fall. Praise the Lord Jesus. We have to move from one place to the other. Coconut limb. Praise the Lord. One place from the other. Praise the Lord Jesus. And go to Strat. Oh no. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh yes, Oh yes, I'm 
Standing at this time, praise the Lord Jesus. Praise Him, praise the Lord, bless the Lord. I said, Bless the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord. I said, Glorify the Lord with me. Let us exalt His name together. Together, together. Bless God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Glory to God! Hallelujah! Glory, glory, glory! Glory! Glory, church! Glory to God! What a God! What a God! What a God! What a God! I said, What a God! Ah, it's God! Ah, uh, uh, look, look! look. I don't believe you really get to the depths of where God brought us from. Oh God! Whoa! 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 Look back. Take a look back. Just take a look back. Don't watch about the furnishing today of the life that we have now. God bless that. But look back. That's where your testimony is. Not here. Don't there. That's where it's coming from. Oh God. The man did testify and say one time, my God, I couldn't even ride a donkey. I ride a foal. I don't know if foal can ride. But he come to the place, I think he ride a donkey. And from donkey he have a horse. From horse he have a car. That's where God bring him from. And that's where most of us world. You're not telling me about condition. Not because a few of us have it easy. But my God, 90% have it rough. Rough. The lady passed by said, Miss Ma my mother was Mary. Miss Mary, you have anything you can't give me? You got me have one breadfruit, you know. But me have nothing to put with the breadfruit. Me had a couple of sweet potatoes, but me have nothing to put with it. Then have no fish kind. Look, brethren. Don't hide your testimony. Don't be ungrateful. Not because we can swim today. There was a time that you're drowning. Drown! And it's only the mercy of God. Help you to be above the water. Hallelujah to God. What a joy. What a joy. What a joy. God deserves every ounce of glory from man. How we were nothing. Nothing before God. But God seen it fit. Yes. And he looked down. Yes. Saw the condition. Yes. Yes. Oh God. 
What did you pay for? Nothing. We, insult, we, we inherit something that we didn't deserve. The loving God saw our condition. Because the scriptures say that we were dog and sorcerers. Yeah, we were homongers, adulterers. Yeah. All that make a lie. Yes. That, were, that was what we are before God came here. Yes, yes. Can you imagine? Yes. I watched the homeless many times, my God, and just wander from place to place. That's what we were. Yes. That's what we were, brethren. But God, serve him. I said, serve him. I said, serve him. I said, serve him. Because that's all that we have. Nothing else. Nothing else. Everything in this life are just vanity. Vexation of spirit. Oh, God. But thank God for Jesus that make and give me salvation so that I can be a part of him to the riches of his glory. God bless you. Keep sweet, my brethren. Keep sweet in the Lord. Stay with him. Trouble on every hand. But if your uncle in God is there to take you through, to take me through, God bless you. God bless you, Pastor. Bless you. Come on, somebody praise the Lord. Come on, somebody worship. Come on, somebody, come on. You hear? Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Lift up, lift up all your hands and shout unto the Lord your God. Don't look at me. Don't look at nobody. Shout unto the Lord your God. If you know what God has done for you, you don't come to the end of end. You worship the Lord today. Give thanks unto the Lord. Give thanks unto Him. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Come on, somebody worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Worship the Lord. The psalm says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good and his mercies endure it forever. You may be going through grief today, but you still have to give thanks. You may not be feeling 100 in your body, but you still have to give thanks. You may have everything that you need today, but you still are required to give thanks. Give thanks unto the Lord. Give thanks unto the Lord Most High. Give thanks unto the Lord Most High. Maybe you don't know about the one shoes, but you can thank him for something else. You don't know about, praise God, the roof that leak water, but you have something to give thanks for. Hallelujah, Jesus. For the last time I checked, my God did not reign only in old times. He's still God. He's God over history and he's God over future. He's God over the present. My children here, you can still give God the praise. Lift your hands and give praises unto the God. Lift your hands and give praises. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Give thanks. Give thanks unto the Lord Most High. If you got the Holy Ghost, give him more thanks. If God fill you with the Holy Ghost, give him thanks. He looked beyond your faults. Saw your knees, he poured himself into you. Give him thanks. Come on, somebody, give him thanks. Give thanks for the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost that give us life eternal. 
death oh my god life after death somebody give him thanks job says if a man dies shall he live again hallelujah he asked the question but jesus answered the question i am the resurrection and the life he that believeth in me though he were dead Sandayama, yes, shall he live? Somebody worship God for eternal life. You may not have a million dollars in the bank, you may not have a house and a car, but you get a give better give him thanks for eternal life. Hey, glory to God we were not responsible the way we came into this world but we surely have a responsibility in how we're going to exit and jesus christ gave us the blueprint how every man must exit this life and if you follow the command you go you shall go from life to life oh come on somebody praise the lord if you follow the word of god you shall live again So if you're sitting in church and you don't have the Holy Ghost and you're comfortable, you have a cushion unto hell, you need the Holy Ghost to live again. Somebody say live again. Somebody say live again. Somebody say live again. Somebody say we shall live again. We shall live again. We shall live again. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. I, I, I hear I hear you thanking God for a lot of things, but brother, I'm thanking God for the Holy Ghost. It don't look pretty down here. I'm thanking God for the Holy Ghost. It don't look pretty down here. I'm thanking God for the Holy Ghost. Down here is only temporal. I'm thanking him for the Holy Ghost. Somebody say Holy Ghost. Somebody shout Holy Ghost. Yes, we need to ring Holy Ghost. Back in the congregations, people need to know they need to get the Holy Ghost. That's the Holy Ghost. And I'm not talking about the Holy Ghost that you get today and you're dead tomorrow. I'm talking about life. I'm talking about the enduring presence of the Almighty God. I'm talking about the secret place of the Most High God. somebody say have you received the holy ghost since you believe you think you you think your family member holy ghost can carry you to heaven somebody say fill me lord oh god i don't hear you somebody say fill me lord oh god you sure you have enough oil here today you have enough you're full your, 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 your needles are full come on virgin we're worshiping god here today we want to make sure that our needle our needle is on f i'm going to ask all the walking up and down to cease praise the lord jesus the needle must be on f praise the name of jesus and i'm going to read from the first verse and you can be seated praise god it says then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins. Let's just say ten virgins. Let's just say ten virgins. No, the Bible did not say five were virgins, and the other five were not virgins. All of them were virgins. Come on, somebody praise the Lord. All of us sitting here today are baptized in Jesus' name. All of us have received, hopefully, the Holy Ghost. We all are considered spiritual 
virgins. Come on, somebody praise the Lord. The Bible did not differentiate and say five were virgins and the other five were backsliders. No, ten virgins. And the Bible says, praise God, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. Who did they go to meet? The bridegroom. Who's the bridegroom? Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord Jesus. And five of them. Now here is the difference. They are all virgins. But five of the virgins were wise. Mm -hmm. And the other five were foolish. Now we don't know why they were wise. And we don't know why they were foolish yet. But as we go along we're going to see why did the scripture depict these as five wise five foolish what made the wise wise and what made the foolish foolish and it says they that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil literally say no oil they took their lamps but they did not have any oil with them a matter of fact they took an empty bottle they're carrying around a, a lamp those of you who come from jamaica i heard about the kerosene lamp i saw one in my grandmother's room and it needs what oil to, when you light it it sparks and the light comes on but there was only a lamp but no oil what what use is a lamp without any oil come on somebody what use is this body without the holy ghost come on talk to me church talk to me what use is me living every day without the spirit of god i wanted to look deeply in this today what use what use am i successful in life but yet no holy ghost I'm married but no Holy Ghost I got a I got a high paying job but no Holy Ghost I got a nice car but no Holy Ghost what sense does it make to have a lamp but no oil in the lamp but the wise bless you but the wise somebody said but the wise come on somebody said but the wise but the wise come on but the wise but the wise but the wise but the wise. That's somebody said, but the wise. Shout, but the wise. Shout, but the wise. Father, in the name of Jesus, I will beat this asthma right now. I command you to cease now. The word of God is upon you now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Wheezing, cease now. Breath come into his body. Oxygen into his body now. Flow through these lungs now. I command the winds to come in his nostrils and supply this body with breath from heaven above. In Jesus' name. Come on, somebody worship God. Somebody say, Asma, we rebuke you. Come on, uh, yes man, yes man. Who have them aisle? Come on, who have the aisle? Who have the aisle? Stretch your hand and say, asthma, we send you back. Yes, I got the notes that he's wheezing. The asthma's coming up, but we send it back. We reverse it. Yes man, yes man. We, we are man dangerous in a man. Shama. Shatayama kusama. Come with me, son. Walk with me in Jesus' name. Worship God, church. You believe God? Stand up on your feet and worship. Shandama. Yeah, man, we need people with oil, oil, oil. We don't want no lamp rejoicing. We want oil in the lamp. We want a lamp with oil. Shama. Shama, 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 Shama.
come on, somebody worship God. The man, we have man, somebody worship God, the man. That was Shama. But the wise took oil in their vessels. The wise, the wise, somebody said the wise. The wise know how to store up. So when situations like these come, you know what to do. Come on. You know how to step in line, in position. You don't have to run and look for the pastor. You don't have to run and look for the mother. But you can stand and declare. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody worship the Lord. Somebody worship God. While the bridegroom tarried, just like now, while the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered. Evangelist, I thank you so much for your vigilance. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much. If something is wrong, let it be known. Come on, somebody praise the Lord. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and what? Everybody was there. Praise the name of Jesus. And everybody was there resting because, you know, God has not come yet. The bridegroom has not showed up yet. They're going about their normal lives, just like how we go to work, we go to school. Amen. We, we, we run our errands. But suddenly, somebody said, but suddenly. And at midnight. It does, it is, it's not the literal midnight, like 12 a.m., but at midnight, at midnight, at midnight, there was a, a cry made. Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Somebody said, go ye out to meet him. Yes, and, and, and all the virgins arose. Every one of them got up was ready to to go and meet the bridegroom they were ready because they've been waiting for this all their lives how many of you are waiting for jesus come on lift your hands you've been, you've been singing on it you've been shouting you've been praying to him you mean to tell me you're not waiting on him now my god some of you are feel the pain in your body my god you can't wait to unroll this flesh this flesh is full of pain, missionary. Full of, full of pain. If it's not the foot, it's the hand. If it's not the hand, it's the kidney. You just can't wait to be robed with that new body. I mean, I mean, children of God, we're, we're not ungrateful, but we can't wait to get to that new Jerusalem. Lord, I wish I had a church here because you know some people are church goers but I'm talking about the virgins those of you who have made up your mind that you can't wait to reign with Jesus people may say oh, things are you know people think that things are going to get better down here I'm sorry to break your heart it's not going to get better it's getting worse I'm not trying to bring down bad luck on nobody, but the word of God tells us in the last days, talk to me church, perilous times shall come, men shall be lovers of themselves. Bible talk about the hearts of men, desperately wicked. I'm watching the news. I'm seeing 80, 90 year old are sitting down and people are just walking up to them. How can you look at an old man and stab him up? We, we drive our cars now. I used to drive my car and just chill at the light. Now when I'm at the light at night time, I'm looking around. Because I'm looking around who's going to try to carjack. You know, you got crazy people out there. They don't have to know you. The hearts of man. Desperately wicked. Out of nowhere. They're beating up on people. They see on the train. And they're beating on you. They're doing everything. And it's the last days. And things are not getting better. Because if things were getting better, the word of God would be a lie. When these wickedness get to the nostrils of God, God is not going to take it anymore. He's going to sound that trumpet. Oh, glory to God. Hey, 
miracle. Don't think that the miracle and all of these elements are going to get away. When it reached the nostrils of God and God said enough is enough. That trumpet is going to sound. That trumpet is going to sound. Then all the verse in seven verse arose and trimmed their lamps. They trim it, yes. They're getting ready to travel, so they trim their lamps. Uh -huh. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil. For our lamps, somebody said, are gone. That's a scary thing to say. Somebody said, the lamp gone out. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. I've been travailing all night because I said, God, I need a word for your people. I need a word. I was there turning Bible leaf all the way to one o'clock in the morning. I said, God, you got to give me a word. I need a word. And as I sat here in service, as I stood up here, that's when the word came. Trim your lamps. They trim their lamps. But the lamps gone out. Why? Why did it gone out? There was no oil left. You know the lamp trims. The form of the lamp was there. Oh God, I feel it in my soul, church. The, ooh, the hat is there. The, the suit is there. The title is there. The shout is there. The dance is there. But the oil is gone. The hallelujah is there. The thank you, Jesus, is there. Sometimes the very tongues are there. Hallelujah. But the oil, the oil, somebody said the oil. The, 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 there's an emergency. There's an urgency. The oil, the oil, the lamp is gone out. I need help. Somebody said, I need help. But something was wrong with this picture. Because they had all the chance to get oil. They had all the opportunities to store up. They sat in church every day. They were in convocations every year. They were in anniversaries every year. Prayer breakfast every morning. Fastings every week. But they made a mockery of it. They did not take it seriously. I don't know why I'm crying today. Excuse me. But they sat at the table and they still died. How can you sit at the master's table and still die? When they cried out now, it was too late. When they shout out, my lamp, my lamp is out. They saw the sister traveling up, but she couldn't turn back. They saw the elder going up, but he couldn't turn back. They saw the pastor going up, but he couldn't turn back. My lamp, my lamp is gone out. Help me. But it's too late. The messages are over. The prayers are over. The fasting service is over. The Bible study is over. Too late. They saw the sister that they came to church with. They saw the elder that fed them with the word. They saw the mother that put her arms around them and encouraged them. But they just couldn't turn back. Touch somebody, say Lord, touch somebody, say please, fill up your oil, fill up, fill up your lamp, fill up your lamp, touch your neighbor, fill up your lamp, my sister. Too late shall be the cry. If somebody don't have the Holy Ghost, touch them, touch them, touch them. Touch them. If somebody don't have the Holy Ghost, shama, touch them. There is going to be a part. Oh God, we, I love you all. We worship together, but one of these days, somebody said we all have to part one day. Hallelujah, Jesus. I just want to know. Everybody wants to know that we have the eye. Oh, somebody say, oh, oh. Lift your hands to heaven, God Almighty Church. 
If you used to play church, stop it. If you used to take it for a joke, put an end to it. It's time to receive oil. Right now, oil is coming down. Open up your tank and receive it. No time to play church. It's no time. It's not business as usual. It's not. It's not just another social event. This is your. This is the saving station of your soul. I want you to look at the picture. I know we come to this house every Sunday, but one by one, we shall be going on. One of these days you're going to hear that our brother who testified is gone. Our sister, she's gone. One by one. We have to have oil. We have to have oil. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, you should be crying out. And if you have the Holy Ghost and you're not, you're not at a place where you feel comfortable, you should be crying out for more oil. The night verse says, but the wise answered, saying, not so. Lest there be not enough for us and you. No, I, I love you all, but I can't give you my oil. I can't, mother. Every car has to have their own oil. I have never seen two cars sharing oil or gas. We have to have our own oil. As close as you have your husband or your wife, my God. Your children, sisters and brothers. God Almighty, I feel the power of God. You travel together in church and you, you do everything together. But you have to have your own oil. One thing I know about this carting up, God don't, is not going to cart up families. Yeah, I, I wish he did. I wish it was like that, but it's not. All the Browns going up. All the Gibbs going up. All the Henrys. All the Dawes going up. But everybody has to have their own oil. Somebody said, two shall be in the bed. Oh, Jesus. I feel a conviction, man. Two shall be in the bed. One taken and the other one left. Oh God, you're married for 40 years and you, you, you finish each other's sentences and you know each other's favorite color. But when that trumpet sound, you better make sure you're that one. Two shall be grinding at the mill. One shall be taken and the other one left. God, somebody said, I want to be that one, Lord. I want to be that one, Jesus. I want to lift up your hands, church. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. You're fasting now. You should have been fasting a long time ago. You study now. You should be studying the word a long time ago. You're making amends. You should be tying up and making amends a long time ago. For some people, it's going to be too late. Too late. And when they went, they that were ready went in with him to the marriage. And the door was shut. My God, the door was shut. Somebody said the door was shut. The Holy Ghost just brought me back to Noah's Ark. God, he's the one that shuts the doors. Uh -huh. 
God don't allow no man to have a charge over the doors from Noah time right down to the end time he is the one that's going to shut the doors because maybe if someone else has jurisdiction over that door you see God can't trust because you know he tried and man failed him you know he said to Saul I want you to kill all Saul kill everything man I give a command kill everything when he went down there he saw cute little sheep and cute little babies and nice women and nice men and nice livestock and and the king oh the king he's a nice guy he's a nice guy he saved what God said to kill he caused him the throne he caused him the kingdom and also he caused him his life so God can depend on no man God said I'm gonna take control of this door myself and the Bible says afterward came also the other virgin said Lord Lord open to us yes we love to we love to say Jesus because we know how to say Jesus and we we love to talk about his mercies and his grace but at this time mercy door was shut close somebody said where the tree falls that's where it lies until the day of judgment people of God we don't want to be outside looking trying to get inside we want to be the wise virgins and he answered and said unto them this is the hurtful part verily I say unto you I know you're not you can imagine somebody that you love somebody that you look up to <laughs> somebody that you say you worship for all these years and he looks in your face says I know you not I never knew you somebody in the next verse they said but Lord we prophesied in your name we lay hands on the sick in your name Jesus said I never depart from me you workers of iniquity yes the only thing that's going to cause your oil to dry up is the work of sin we got to live a life that is free from sin come on church clap your hands if you believe it we don't want to be worshiping God and we have one hand in church and the other hand in iniquity you're not talking to me here today we don't want to be worshiping God and with one side of us we pray to God but the other side we go to the hobby of man God you're not talking to me today I said with one side you fast and pray but with the other side you seek those for spiritual guidance you go to the palm readers you, you call the psychic hotline you read, uh, praise God, the zodiac signs to see what's in for you this week. You cannot meddle in sin and go to heaven. Even when you get a dream, I'm not Googling it on in the, in the internet. God must give me the meaning. I don't want nobody telling me what goat mean, what sheep mean. God will give the interpretation. You're not talking to me. Because sometimes we can do the thing right in our own house. Yes, yes. I'm going to seek God. And if God didn't tell me what the dream means, I'm going to wait for the interpretation. 
for one man got a dream and his name was Daniel praise God and he prayed to God he said God show me the king wanted to know he said I know a man that will give you the interpretation I'm not burning no incense to get money in my house Oh, you're not talking to me, church. Yes, it's getting quiet. I'm not burning no incense to keep away spirits. If the Holy Ghost can't do it, then God or no God, you're not talking to me. For if you burn it, you're just like those who make it. Come on, somebody. All other gods, they are the works of man. I'm not carrying nothing in my pocket for good luck. I'm not wearing no ring for God. I'm not wearing something around my waist to keep spirits away from me. I'm going to live holy because Jesus Christ requires us to be holy. Oh, I'm not reading a prayer book and reciting words. I must have the word in me. For the Bible said thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Let's tear it down today. Let's tear it down today. And if you send somebody to do it, you're just as guilty as you went. Lord God is getting quiet in here. I said, if you send your auntie and you send your cousin and you send your neighbor, you're just as guilty. Hallelujah. I'm not making no sinner man tell me what to do. When spiritual warfare is going on, I know what to do. Come on, somebody says, Central never busy. They're not talking to me. Always on the line. You can hear from heaven. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. We want people to know that in order for you to get to be the virgin, you have to live holy. When everybody needs to know, it's not just about coming to church and lifting your hands and shouting. You got to live a life. It has to be a lifestyle. Hmm? Talk to me, church. Talk to me, church. I said, talk to me, church. I said, talk to me, church. It has to be a lifestyle. You want your oil to remain and grow? You got to stay true to God. You got to live according to the word of the Lord. Come on, somebody praise the Lord. Come on, somebody worship God. Clap your hands and praise the Lord. Clap your hands and praise the Lord. Clap your hands. Clap them. Clap your hands, oh people. People don't want to hear these words today. They want to go to the church that will give them a motivational speech and tell them, go get that business. Go get that house. Go get that car. But honey, you better get the Holy Ghost. You better get the Holy Ghost. And you, if you have it, you better have the fire burning in you. Because some people got it. But my God Almighty, somewhere along the way, something got wrong. You're comfortable, my God. You can't shake. You can't speak no more. You got to touch him again. Oh, I don't need to speak. I, I, I don't need to do nothing again. I got it. I'm fine. I'm fine. I, I don't need to move again. It's just a show. They're just showing off. <laughs> Bible says, shall quicken what? Shall quicken what? Shall quicken. How can you have God in you and God move and you don't move? You mean to tell me that God's so weak? That our frail temple can't move when God step inside of it? This body cannot contain the glory of God. That's why when people get Holy Ghost, we know they get Holy Ghost. Church, quiet man. 
We don't just look at mouth. I, I, I move up and down. It comes with power. Somebody said power. Come on, I said come with power. The Bible said when they got it, it was what? It was what you know. It was blessed quietness. It, it, it was a quiet room. The room was insulated. No, it was noise abroad. So how you have the Holy Ghost and so quiet? Come on, I, I, how you have the Holy Ghost and my God, you don't you don't feel something just moving your body? Come on, you worshiping God and don't feel God. My God Almighty, sometimes I, I just just thinking about Jesus. Hallelujah. My God, somebody talk to me. Just thinking about Jesus. Just thinking about the name Jesus. Something in you. I'm a, my, what am I saying? The Holy Ghost in you. I always say it and let me say it now if you have the Holy Ghost here and the Holy Ghost don't drop I remember one time I was at the Hargan right here my God Almighty playing there my God and the Holy Ghost drop on me and knock over the organ just came down on me newly filled came down on me when I got the Holy Ghost I went on the train my God the Holy Ghost just a jerk my body I have to act like I'm tying my shoelace and you telling me you got the Holy Ghost fire. And it only takes a song. Some people only get a 19 over a song. My God. Only when music appears, you underneath your 19. Oh, mama, All when you're in your seat, quiet. God will descend upon you. I don't hear the church. All when you're in the shower. All underneath the word of God. You feel him now, you feel him? There's no organ, there's no bass, there's no drum. But do you feel, can you feel him? People of God. If it takes something to stimulate the anointing in you, you need a boost. You need a jump start. If it takes an instrument to sound the right key, for you to jump in the air. I am so sorry to tell you, you need a jump start. You need to go back and say Jesus one more time. It's a serious thing. You, you, you need to go back. If it takes the drum to, 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 for it to beat, for you to, to, to do, and it takes a height of vibes. Underneath the word of God, the same spirit that moves you when you're singing is the same spirit that will move you when the word of God is going on. Not because the guitar is playing and the guitar is sweet and your body feeling, because it's a reminder of the whole days when you used to dance folk. This is not folk anymore. Somebody said, This is the Holy Ghost. Come on, clap your hands and praise the Lord. Say, Lord, give me oil, give me oil, give me oil. Lift your hands to heaven, man. When you are worshiping, you don't need to exuberate energy to feel him. It comes on you freely. That's what I love about the anointing. The anointing is different. You don't need to do any extra stuff. The anointing will come down freely. Somebody say freely, no man. That's why in a time like this in some churches, you see so much nonsense going on. Because there's no anointing. So they do the extra stuff. If you don't mind, they pick up cheer and throw it in the air. They run on the, they jump the altar and they climb on the altar. A bag, a, a bag of circus moves. But when you got the Holy Ghost, somebody say Holy Ghost. Somebody say Holy Ghost, no man. 
Somebody say Holy Ghost. Somebody say Holy Ghost. Somebody say Holy Ghost. Lift up your hands and say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Somebody say Holy Ghost. Patata Shama. Shatayama Sandayama. Somebody say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Somebody say Holy Ghost. Woo! Shatama. Eko Shanda Mama Masa. Nilao Shatayama. For when you lie down on that day, brethren. Thank you, Holy Ghost. When you lie down on that altar one day, you can't hear no organ. You will not be able to, you will not hear the drum. You will not hear the bass guitar. You will not hear the choir singing. But one thing God will allow you to hear. The trump of God. I don't understand God. Imagine. The organ is loud. The keyboard is loud. The trump. The, 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 the guitar is loud. The preaching is loud. But the trump of God which is a spiritual sound you will not hear the physical but the spiritual sound can you hear the spirit can, can, can you hear, can you hear the Holy Ghost now come on somebody somebody open up your ears and listen for the Holy Ghost come on open up your ears and listen to the Holy Ghost because if you can't hear him now you're not going to hear him then you hear him you hear anything you hear anything mama mama koshama Do you hear anything right now in the spirit? Do you hear, do you hear something? Shama. Shataya Makosa. Jesus. Hallelujah. Ah. Do you hear do you hear a voice? Do you hear anything? Do you hear any sound yet? Come on, do you hear anything? Train your ears right now. Train your ears to hear. Can you imagine a dead man hear the trump? You talk to a dead body, not a sound, not a movement. The closest one to you. I love you. I love you. No sound. But when the trump of God sound, my God Almighty, there shall be a shaking. There shall be a quickening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There shall be a change. Paul said, this corruptible will put on. I, 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 immediately, there shall be a transformation. Corruption put on what? Incorruption. 
Mortal put on what? Immortality. Hallelujah. Come on, church. You don't hear nothing else. You shouldn't even be looking around. You should be listening. People of God, stand up on your feet right now. Stand up on your feet. I'm going to close. But I want you to think about it like this. Right now, right as I speak right now, the trump of God can sound. Lord of mercy. Shakatayama. Ushama mama. Shataya Master. Right now, the trump of God can sound. We may be fixing up ourselves to go home now to have our dinner. And we say, boy, I got plans. I'm going this. I'm going here tonight. I'm going here tomorrow. Trumpet sound, trumpet sound. Hit that symbol for me, brother. Hit it loud as you can. Just suddenly, that sound just comes. I'm Bridget. You can imagine maybe five of you in the car. And all of a sudden, two people gone. Glory to God. The driver gone. You're around the dinner table tonight. And you just see people just vanish right before your eyes. People of God, take it serious. Serious. Right now as we're in church, as I always hear Bishop said, Bishop Brown, our Bishop, God is going to take the church out of the church. We gather here right now, my God, and God just take 15 and left the rest. If you're not careful, you just see the mic just drop. You just see clothes on the ground. Can these clothes not go up nowhere? <laughs> You're pretty just not going nowhere. You just see that nice vest and red tie flat on the ground. That nice dress flat on the ground. And the person is gone. Lift your hands right now. 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 Yes, 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 yes. I never felt this way before. I have never spoke like this before in my life. But I feel the convictions of the Holy Ghost. I don't even know how tears come out my eyes. I can't explain it to you. Ma, 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 ko shatayama, satayama. Jesus. Somebody just said Jesus. Just lift your hands and say, we're going to close. But this, this could be your final, your final prayer. God Almighty. My God Almighty. This could be your final chance just to get that oil in your lamp. Don't take it for granted, church. We don't have to meet here again. It is not, it is not something that is set in stone. The Thursday night is Bible studies. You don't know. And for some of us, individually, as God is not a partial God, many other churches, my God, I just saw him Sunday. My God, she was worshiping God. And you get the news. She's gone. She's gone.
come on, come on. You want to make sure that oil is in your lamp. Because some of us won't have the chance to say, Lord, have mercy. Some of us, it will be an instant transition. Some of you, maybe you can pray and lie down there and pray, but not everybody. And some of you, you will be lying down there, but you don't know where on earth you are. Because you have no clue what happened to you. Almighty God and Father, lift your hands now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. I present your lambs one more time. And I present your sheep one more time. And I don't leave out myself, Lord. Here are we today, Lord. We have heard your word. That you have spoken to your disciples. About the ten virgins. Five were wise. Five were foolish. Your word declares that these things were written for our learning. Oh God Almighty. Oh God. Help us Lord that when we come to school we will learn God. We will not take advantage. We will not abuse the opportunity to receive the word. We will not mock the word. We will not bash it the word. We will not vomit it out. But we will take the engrafted word that we may grow, God. Nearby, Lord, help us today, your people, to be better, Lord. Help us to be, help us to develop to full maturity, God. Your word declares in First Corinthians chapter 3, he said, when you should be eating meat, I have to give you milk. Because I found some things that you're doing that is not of God. Help your people today at 2031 Nostrand Avenue. As I stretch my hands behind me and in front of me, Lord. I pray that every name in here will be written in the book of life. I pray, God, that the names of these people will be written in the Lamb's book of life. If there's any sin, God, forgive us, Jesus. If there's any iniquity, God, have mercy upon us one more time. Wash us right now, Jesus. Cleanse us right now, Jesus. Consecrate us to thy service, Lord. Help us to be mindful of the things of God more than the things of the world. Lord, our life depends on it. We only have one chance. There's no second chances. Because you showed us in the word, God, when the rich man said, let me go tell my, my family. Let, let me go tell them. Let me go tell them how this place is. Let me go warn them. He said, no. If they don't hear the prophets, if they don't hear, how can they hear you? Help us to hear your voice today. As your word again, oh God, harden not your heart. In the day of provocation, God, when our fathers tempted in the wilderness. Help us, God, not to be like those that were in the wilderness, Lord. That, Lord God, they were so unruly, disobedient. Even when you gave them manna, God, they still complained. They still murmured. And what did you do, God? You were so angry with them that you allowed them to eat the manna. And while the manna was in their mouth, God Almighty, you sent forth that quake, God, and slain them. Lord, withhold your sword over your people this morning. We pray, God, that whatever is a habit in our life, that you'll break every habit today. Every addiction, every secret addiction that nobody knows about, God, break it now in the name of Jesus Christ. Loose your people from every secret sin, Lord God. Everything that makes you angry, everything that gets you wrathful, God, have mercy. Have mercy upon us today. As David said, have mercy upon us, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according to thy tender mercies. 
our blood out, our transgressions, cleanse us thoroughly from our sins, Lord God. Hallelujah. Help us today, Jesus. Save us, Lord. Jesus. Save us, Lord. We pray that when you descend, when you descend upon the atmospheres, we pray that we will be in the number, Lord. God Almighty, God help us to be ready. Help us to be ready, waiting. Help us to be listening for your call. Help us, Lord, to be available to you. Help us not to find ourselves in gossiping and tail bearing and any other thing, God, that will keep our attention away from you, Lord. Help us to be sober. To be sober, Lord God. To keep our vessels clean. In Jesus' name we pray. Come on, lift your hands and thank the Lord today. Thank him. We we'll have one more chance. You have another opportunity. Come on. You're, you're standing on, on top of the grave. The blood is still flowing for you. The blood cannot flow down to the grave. It flows to those who are on top of the grave. Come on, worship him for one more chance. We don't have to act sanctimonious. You know when you failed. You know when you dropped. You know when you butt your toe. Thank God for mercy today. Even a thought that was not right. Could, it's a sin. And you know, you know. Just thank you for one more chance. Thank you, Lord. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Mama, mama, kosha. We could have been cut off without remedy. Come on, church. You want something to think about? Thank him for this. That while we were yet sinners, Christ died for the ungodly. And not only died for the ungodly, but he made a way out for us that we cannot stay ungodly but live. Worship him today. Come on, come on, come on. Have you any rivers? Come on, have you any rivers? Tata Kushamayama. Yes, yes. Those, those things that want the devil want to attach to you, I want you to break them off now. Renounce them now. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory. Every rebellion, we cast it down now. We don't want to be rebellious anymore. I don't want to be rebellious anymore. Hallelujah. I don't want to be stubborn anymore. Lord, help us. Somebody said, Lord, help us. Help us, Lord. Have mercy upon us. Hallelujah. Jesus. Atama Kushata. I don't, don't want to have a short temper anymore. Come on. Come on. Talk it out, church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Whatever it is, renounce it today. Renounce it. Renounce it. Hallelujah. Ato Kushama. Glory to God. Glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this thirsting of my soul. Bread of heaven. Hallelujah. Fill me till I want no more. Fill my cup. Fill it up and make me whole. If you're here today, you're not safe. Fill my cup, Lord. You can come to this altar. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench 
this thirsting of my soul bread of if you're a backslider feed me till I walk no more the Lord is calling you to come fill my cup hallelujah fill it up and may God just don't want you to come to church just to have a good time this is preparation ground hallelujah this is preparation ground come and quench the thirsting of my soul bread of heaven feed me till I want no more fill my cup mm, fill it up and make me whole father in the name of Jesus we pray for these at the altar today Lord God we thank you for these that came to the altar we pray a special prayer for them whatever the situation is whatever the need is Lord that you will supply it in the name of Jesus those that are here that need the Holy Ghost that you will descend upon them Lord and fill them God with your Holy Spirit our deacon Lord that you strengthen him Lord for the journey Lord that oh God he will hear well done thou good and faithful servant Lord ignite his soul with the fire of the Holy Ghost ignite his soul with oil God fill him up drench him with oil God dose him with oil let him not lack anything I pray in Jesus name quench this thirsting of my soul bread of heaven feed me till I walk no more hallelujah fill my cup hallelujah fill it up hallelujah and make me whole hallelujah yes 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 yeah fill my cup shama yes yes church i live yes just get intimate with god just between you and jesus just between you and jesus every man for himself oh bread of heaven hallelujah feed me till i want hello my shama i feel the lord pouring down some oil today fill my cup yes church fill it up and make me whole fill my cup lord yes yes man i feel the power of the holy ghost come and quench the thirsting of my soul bread of heaven hallelujah feed me till i want no more hallelujah fill my cup my mama kushamaya fill it up don't be ashamed of the, don't be ashamed of what you feel don't be ashamed of what you, come on fill my cup don't be ashamed of the touch of the lord mm, come and quench uh, bread of hair shanda Oh, fill my cup, fill it up, and make me whole. Hallelujah. Ata mama. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Shanda. Shatayama. Kasama. Shunde mama. Shatayama. Yes, God is coming back for a church without spots. 
my God, all of these words, church, we can't forget all of these words. He's coming back for a church without spots or wrinkles. Oh God, sometimes we forget the word. We forget the requirements. But roll back the curtains. 